Hey everyone, it's Orca. Hope you guys are doing really well today. We're going to be looking at a Clan Blitz rotation that I just played this morning. And we're going to be joined by Reborn, whom I'm actually going to call right now. Let's see if he answers. Hopefully so. Hey, Reborn, how you doing? Doing what? Let me turn your volume up real quick. I can barely hear ya. Let me see. How do I do this again? Use your volume. Can you say click maybe? Say that one more time. Uh, I think you can like right click to increase the volume. But oh, I you sound great now. You sound great. Sound. You sound wonderful. How are you doing today? Good. I was playing a little uh, Slay the Spire earlier. I played it a long time ago, but I've never like got into it. Into it, I just kind of like played it a, a, a decent amount, but not like a ton. Mm -hmm. um, but, like the last couple days, I've been like super into it. Oh, nice! Yeah. I've heard of the game. What is it like? I can't it's remember a, what the game's about anymore. It's like a card game, like roguelite. Oh yes, 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 yes. No, I, that's where I actually heard of it. I, I watched this video on YouTube where this guy went through seven roguelites in one day to see if he could beat any of them on the first try. And that was one of them. Um, spoiler, he did not. He did not. Yeah. <laughs> he did not complete the challenge. <laughs> it takes a little bit to get used to, but uh, yeah. it's definitely fun. I've played it enough now to where like, I kind of... I know what everything is, like all the different cards and stuff, and so I can actually start coming up with different synergies and stuff, which is really mm. fun. Oh, that's nice. That is wonderful. So yeah, um, you said that you're, you ran out of this space. It's like the, the worst. I know. Yeah, I mean, it's my fault. It's my fault. Because the thing is, this past weekend, I went super ham in terms of grinding x rank and i think i i have 14 or 15 videos in the backlog now but i didn't know how much space i would have until my <laughs> i didn't know how i recorded that many videos mm. um and then of course on this rotation which was my best rotation that i've done <laughs> this whole weekend easily of course uh the disk space runs out um, so then I was thinking, well, what do I do? Cause I, it'll just be a shame if this just got, just went down in history is, or didn't go down in history at all. <laughs> just went to the ether. Um, but yeah, no, nah, I thought it would probably be cool just to go over the replays and then talk about them from that perspective of just, yeah, I'm done. Sounds like a good time. just like starting from the bottom and then coming all the way up to the top there. So, um, I'm going to start this. I'm actually going to, I'm going to start it right now, but I'm actually going to go get my, <laughs> my pasta from the stove, um, yeah, yeah, while this starts, but I'll be, I'll be right back. Yeah. I can probably take a minute or two as well. So I'll be right back. Cool. <laughs>
I have no idea if you're back or not, but I am back. Anyway, while we wait for Reborn, this is the first game of the day. Um, so this is just a little warm-up game, and you guys already have seen the result. We lost this game. But it's going to be an interesting thing to see how how the rotation develops. I do try at, at the beginning of a rotation just to not take it too seriously, but I know I'm still so going. Especially just my first game of the day. Oh, you're back? I heard you. Oh, you're back? Okay, cool. <laughs> Oh yeah, I I play some of my best games toward the ends. Really, like I'm starting to my pace is increasing and my movement's starting to get better. And also, my I'm starting to move from place faster. That like the hesitation is starting to decrease. Or at least that's what I felt like while I was uh, playing. So I think you'll see more of that as as it goes on, for sure. Um, but yeah. But yeah, as I was saying earlier, I was like, I try not to take the first game seriously. I'm trying to. I think I realized that my mental game as I'm doing this is so important. So I have to set myself up mentally right <laughs> well so it'd be like, okay, I can't take these first games seriously or else it'll mess up my mental for the rest of the game, you know, if I lose immediately. You know, it's just I have to give my time myself time to warm up. I always find it helpful So true. Also, this is something that I, I was realizing, and will you'll see me realize it over the course of it is that left fan that fan that goes the goes up on the left that leads up to that left slope area is just so strong for a crab spot. I remember this one was like a DC. We still lost, yeah. It was a lucky DC though, honestly. <laughs> We we're probably gonna lose either way. I was like, Yeah, I was actually wondering if I should have thrown the thing. Because I remember we've been talking about the decision point to either throw the clam before crabbing or keep it. And I was wondering there, is that a time? Because we're in overtime and a crab lasts nine seconds, is that, is that a wise move for me to hold on to the... Um, one of your teammates in front of you also had a power clam, so... I did see that, yeah, on the right I side there. 
Like, I, if that were me, I probably would have just held on to my power plan, but if you did throw it, I could I could totally understand. Like, it does give your teammate more options to, to do something with it, so I definitely don't want to. I wouldn't hate the idea. I probably wouldn't think to do it in that spot, but I don't know if that works. That's tough, but like, as long as you get value out of the crab, you'll have to get some magic score either way. Yeah. Yeah, and if you ever want me to like switch a view to see you know, people are interested in the overhead or something like that, that's also fine. No, <laughs> this, I think, is my favorite Clamblitz map. It just feels like a deathmatch to me. It just feels like. Such a volatile map, but I love it. Sometimes the counter attack is a little bit too strong. I guess it's like a Yeah. Overall, I think I was actually on, um, I was watching Kyo's stream for, I don't know, last week or something, and someone asked what stage has the best mid, and this stage came to mind for me. I'm like, what stage has a better mid than Mako? Mako. Oh, that's all. That's something I've also I use. I see myself getting much better at is fighting specific weapons in specific ways. Um, like Octo Brush. Now I just don't. I don't even. I just try to space it all the time now. I don't try to roll into it or anything because I tested that it has. I have slightly longer range in it, so if I just. I just space it out the whole time, I can't really do anything. Yeah. Yeah. They have a turret mode, but Yeah, it's more of a commitment too, huh? This one I was thinking, well after this game I was thinking after, I should have went directly to the left stack to try to clear out because a lot of people approach from the left stack. Um, I think pushing left stack would probably make a lot of sense. Unfortunately, they can definitely score from them all over, but usually they can die from freezer. Right? 
probably your best bet. But then also, it's like, conversely, I don't know if the roller was just sharking there, waiting for me to try to peek, and then it was going to try punishing me if I, like... I mean, I'm sure there's probably a, a way I can take that fight safely, but... Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if you push left stack and the roller's waiting there to get you, like... Good for them. Like, I feel mm -hmm. like a, that's, a, that's a really smart play. I wouldn't... If they have the discipline to go for picks there instead of like trying to go the basket and get the skills in, I, I wouldn't worry too much. I'd give them a the good thing to say that. <laughs> yeah. Being upset. Or like thinking like. Yeah. It's, it's one of those things where like I'm, I'm always okay with them getting away with it. Like, like if they like. Mm -hmm. A lot of times people go for like sharks or really that. It's always okay. It's fine. After they do it once, they kind of kind of expose themselves in that game plan. So mm -hmm. it happens more than that one time, but the first time. <laughs> so I'm seeing ghosts there. Yeah, on, on this stage specifically, this thing is it can snowball for real, for real. I was, mm -hmm. You can also think about like, are we gonna try to like push or I don't hate that but I do you went for. I remember in the moment thinking I should have not gotten that. It was a <laughs> it was a death wish. I was thinking maybe I Mm-hmm. It was a little bit like Ambitious. I don't think Which is gonna be better after that, so it doesn't look like a match, but And there's like, you know. Yeah, still plenty of time for us to surmount another push. Probably a time where I was like, "What do I do here?" I wonder. Yeah, it's an awkward spot. Like, I like your idea where it's okay for us not to take the picture. Like, 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 like,
Sorry, I'm like cringing no, beforehand. I'm like, I remember this exact moment now. But yeah, continue. Yeah. chipped away at the lead. Um, I do think that there's a world where we could probably could have helped out like that one awkward spot when we scored and our teammate was like on the other side of the map. Mm -hmm. um, I think we, because they were still alive on the other side of the map, like we probably could have uh, positioned a little bit closer to their side, like around like their side mid mm -hmm, mm -hmm. to get more information and like be able to quickly make that play. If there's something there but if there isn't we just go back to what we were doing but i think we could have had that same idea like a little bit farther up and uh, still been yeah and then just uh give them the space back more slowly like yeah. just add a little bit more resistance further up versus versus giving them free space basically. yeah in the spot where you're going to have to pull off the camera there. Hero play, sort of. Probably in the spot where you're going to have to pull off the camera. More often than not. Your decision there isn't going to break too much. a weird situation. So after you get the first pick here, you can like continue to go. The game becomes too down right now. And then there's a When we get this pick, instead of going backwards, you could have rolled into the person that we got the oh. first pick from. Mmm, true. Because we the last people on the map. So we end up going past the Yeah. So like, like it would have been rolled like, like if you rolled before the end of the you would have like Yeah, that makes sense actually. It's like a really weird situation. All these Not... I don't think there's ever a time or anything like that. This was right around the time when my brain was thinking, oh, I could actually use this elevator to crab from that top right area, like the right side. But I would, I didn't, the thought didn't fully form yet, so I was going back and forth. Um. But yeah, I'm actually gonna think about that, like, if. Rolling forward more into their base instead of backwards. Sometimes it's because, like, in general, like if you roll to your base, it's really safer. But 
Oh yeah, I, I start milking that one. <laughs> Once I realize it, I take that thing to the bank so much. You can do a top left as well, but it's like... There's so many thoughts I have, like, slightly too late. I'm like, oh, I could have thrown a, like, a suction bomb to secure the kill earlier. But I, my thought was a little too late. <laughs> yeah, yeah, bombs definitely. Yeah. Otherwise, like, you don't have to do that. You don't have to do that. It's a question. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I had no clue that a suction bomb did that. <laughs> so, yeah, I think so. That's, that's how it was in Splatoon 2. I'm just gonna make sure you guys Really? Really? Let me test that real quick. I could just test it real quick. Yeah, Um, So that's how it was on a. Uh, It's pretty fast though, so like if you're not on it by the time it explodes, then um, like you you'll have like I don't know if that was playing for it there. I think it is. Let's see. That always gets me. I just hold forward and then I go right back into the lobby sometimes. I mean, sometimes you can do it with like sprinklers and things I've seen. You can also do it with yeah. the wall, but that can be tricky with the positioning proper. But technically, me. yeah, that can do damage, so we'll keep it really fresh. Mm -hmm. I mean, maybe it works on everything. It doesn't yeah. have to be directly on it, it just needs to be like. Oh really? Okay. You, you, can't, you can't go on it, like, Let's like see. where the ramp comes up. Oh well. It's probably better to do it like the top of the ramp. The top of the ramp? Or, like like where you're at now. Yeah, yeah it took me all the way up. Yeah. It's like go into mid. Like that? And then well it's so, like the little ramp to get up to that platform. Yeah, that painted thing right in front of you. Yeah. It's like if you throw the like right this. In front of that, if you throw the suction bomb. Like right in front. Uh, basically. So like walk up a little bit. A little bit like more. Like there? Yeah. Uh, you can't throw it there, but like if you throw like right where your feet are right now. Okay. Like that'll do it. Yeah. You might have to go a little bit farther out. So there's like height on this. Hmm. Try it again. Maybe because it's on the, the block. On the block. Because if you do it on the other one, where it's just 
touching the platform, like the, the main one. From the right. Like here? Yeah, like you can throw it like, pretty far away and it'll... Yeah, I guess with that dot block, it has to be a little bit more. Okay. That was like the weaker hitbox. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. So then this one, I have to actually throw like on the thing. I feel like there has to be a, a spacing or like an actual Hmm. I feel like there's another one, right? But I don't know. Maybe the side of it. Um, that could work if you do. Do you know how suction bombs overlap on the wall? So, so, so yeah. The, where uh, you did that suction bomb before? Yeah, like if you throw it between, so if you, like if it hangs over on the, yeah, like right there, it'll 100% hit. Like that hits on both sides. If you didn't know that tech before, it, it definitely hits on the last spot. I did so not know that. Put, yeah, sometimes you can throw suction bombs on the walls and people are behind the wall. If wow, so if you just throw it right on the corner there, yeah, it hits both there, sides. Yeah, that's like a real wall. Huh. The most, I mean, I feel like the easiest one is just to throw it directly at it. Yeah, I mean, you definitely can. Um, but if you didn't have to do that, you could, like, also put it in which is nice. But I guess the other thing is, like... Mm, that's true. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Like, how many... Like, even if you didn't use a bomb, like, if you're, like, going for that play again, like, how many shots do you really need for it to get to the top? Like, actually, oh, true, true, true. Because, like, if you shoot it a couple times, like, you, that's, like, really good. Uh -huh. Like, you only have to shoot it, like... Maybe even like once or twice, and it'll probably be first time. I don't actually know. That was twice. Yeah. Okay, maybe it's not. That was five times. Yeah, that was. I think three will definitely get you up there, and then four. That was four. four. <laughs> that was four right there. Okay, so three could definitely get you up there, but four is fine as well. Um, oh, yeah. Three. three. Three can, if I jump. Well, okay. That's three. <laughs> okay, yeah, maybe four is the. Okay. But like four is the. Yeah, I <laughs> see. Yeah. Like as you're moving, you can like shoot it. Like, like as you're approaching it, you can like kind of shoot it a little bit and then like quickly. True. Is that like shooting it like you did right there? It's just like you leave yourself so vulnerable. Oh like, yeah, you know, like, I'm trying to think about how I do that like without. Yeah. How do I do yeah, that? The, the only way I can think of of not. Turning my back around is actually just throwing the bomb and making sure it's not. Yeah, I mean, but then the bomb, that's 70% of my ink tank. Yeah, know. it's 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 definitely a commitment. That's why like if the bomb also painted the platform, that's why I wish you could. Put them there has to be yeah. Um, I don't know if that would, that should paint. What if I? Yeah, maybe that's good. Less Dang. Wait, that didn't work. Oh, that definitely overhand. That's so interesting. Okay, right there. It's like a perfect spacing you have to get though. Well, let me try that per let me try it on the other side without without like painting anything to see how much of it paints. I'm gonna just get right on the the very that's the edge edge. Okay. Yeah, I mean, you can definitely shoot it, but, like, in the replay, like, we were shooting at it for, like, a couple of seconds mm -hmm. versus, like, four or five minutes, like, we, like with, with how we, like, just did it, like, you can Yeah, kind of just, like, it, like, oh, uh, and that's it. I didn't also, like, know it went up that fast, yeah. Yeah, you can also throw a bomb, like, like where you're going to land. You can throw a bomb ahead of time. It's, so, like, as you're approaching it, like, throw a Yeah, like this. Bomb, like, Oop. <laughs> oh, I, wait. Wait. Yeah, well, I mean that works. On the side, it definitely. Works. I don't know. In front, it's kind of weird. But like, yeah. where you're, like after you get off the fan, like where you, where you like that, like uh, over here. Yeah, 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 like up on that ledge. Like throw it up there before you start painting the fan. Oh, and I like, see, I see, I see. Yeah, like do this type of thing, and then. Yeah, no. I that see. Would cover yourself a little bit. Yeah, from anything over there. That makes it's sense too, yeah. That can destroy you, but like, <laughs> sometimes you can yeah. get those. I mean, you can also throw a suction bomb a little closer, like the legend. Like, the, like this like, part here? Yeah, that would be okay. Just to like, this. And then come over here, then. 
Like, it's not an invaluable setup, but it does not use the space and most use the Yeah, I actually never thought about how... What's the, the least amount of shots I need to raise it all the way? Mm -hmm. It seems like four is the answer <laughs> for yeah. all of these. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, all these other hands that, that are like touching the platform, like you can just throw a suction bomb. Sometimes it's yeah, not exactly. Worth it, throw a suction. Yeah. A lot of times, like if you're if you want to approach the enemy team's fan, for example, like you can throw a mm -hmm. suction bomb to like like on top of the platform. Preempt. Yeah. 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 I mean, you can like throw it like on the back side and stuff. Like, paint, and, 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 oh yeah, true. Like, paint at the back of it. Like, true. Yeah, exactly. Like this type of setup yeah. there. Then they have to make a decision. Like, are they gonna push forward and take a fight with you, or are they gonna back up and give you like, a three? You know. Mm -hmm. Like they can also play the great and like kind of counter that idea a little bit, but mm -hmm. those are the types of ideas like you always want to try to implement in these different scenarios. Yeah. No, oh, thanks for that. Thank you for that. That's actually I'm gonna implement that. I all <laughs> the reason I'm painting it so much because I thought I needed to paint it for a long time. <laughs> I was wrong. I was wrong. But that thought never even crossed my head. What's the least amount of paint I need to get on this? That's like some min maxing thing <laughs> that I would not have thought about. <laughs> I'm trying to. I don't know if there was like maybe the story mode or something. Cause there was something like that that you had to paint that takes forever. Maybe I'm just thinking about like some there's a couple of sponges that are really annoying and you have to like shoot for a while. Cause there is something that like I, I don't remember what it is, but there are some things that like you have to like, over paint. But I can't it might have been story mode. I might be thinking about it. I might. Nah, I mean, if that sounds that sounds right. I just don't remember story mode like that, but I believe you. That sounds right to me. There's, there's some memory of that I have that, yeah. that would like... That would give an explanation of why you can do it. Mm. Yeah, Definitely it's a good thing. Good idea though. Mm -hmm. Couple attack in the middle of this special, but unfortunately it's not a good thing. Definitely a little bit faster and cleaner. You got gotten clean pick there for sure. Oh yeah, I remember this. I thought they were gonna keep helping me. <laughs> they just left me. I mean, it's fine. In that spot, you could roll back. If you get the spacing right, you can help me. We fire that, yeah, for sure. Like, you can still kind of get left him. I actually don't know anything about this. Oh, it's longer than my range for... Yeah. Like, if you're, if you're tired of waiting, that's where you like, 
Exactly, exactly. Use more suction bombs to support this interaction. Yeah, committing yourself with the other, the other person to commit first. Some fights it doesn't trying to figure out how to fight um Wait, you talking about life? You talking about lifer? No, 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 when they jump in. Like they jump in like... Oh, he's talking about. The enemy jump Wait. in and you like saw it. You can throw a suction bomb. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes I do that. I'm not thinking well enough. <laughs> Yeah, you just gotta feel it. Um, we definitely could have ended the game there if we were a little bit more. I would have probably yeah. done the bat mode and like under the basket or something. Like just keep yeah, moving. Yeah, just ball mode and then so end the basket. The rest of this match is just gonna be a bunch of action in front of our area. So like that's again where suction bombs are so good. True. If you, if you throw suction bombs like on power planes and stuff, or you throw a suction bomb in front of a plane, like again you're making them make a decision. Are they gonna just like immediately like either they have to get on the fan before that bomb explodes? Or they have to wait it out. And if they do it before, then we get a free fight. If they do it after, we wasted their time. And we probably can throw another suction bomb pretty soon after. Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> so, yeah, I definitely think that, like, for dual, like, B duelies, like, suction bomb isn't all that important. But suction bombs are so powerful that. If you like, there's definitely a lot of them and you get a lot of value out of Definitely not squeezing the maximum value out of these bombs. I think the biggest thing is just those opportunities where you can make the decision. Like, just the spots where, like, you're in a spot and then you look at Like, last game where we were not really here because they were. Like, I, I, I'm fine with those diving this. Like when we go the like, Oh yeah, yeah, that. Yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> well, see, no, that was. <laughs> I thought they were low. It was like, the ink brush was gaslighting me because they didn't hit their carbine at all. <laughs> so I was, <laughs> they were not low at all. Cause that's why I. I went in pretty i was like oh they just need like one or two more shots i hit them actually three times and they didn't die and i was like wait what and then because i was too close to them um i died <laughs> but i definitely thought they were low but they were not at all it actually happens a couple times this game where i think that someone's low because the ink brush is like clearly over them and then it, they're not at all yeah. Um, I just wanted to look at like again. This is like being deliberate, but the way that we jump onto the left back is like that. Like it's like the most like you're just sitting in the center. It's like <laughs> that's fair. 
there's like a lot of wool that you can make in the room. So like, you know, like there's that like, little... Even the block on the left. Yeah, like there's a block on the left, there's that wall that's like, like that's another place that you can kind of look like from. Yeah. Sometimes, like, it's so weird, like, so that, like, I think it's just like, 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 you always just want to, like, be in the center, the, yeah. the most balanced, but you want to take the middle path. Because it also happens with me when I play, like, like any game that I play, like, Okay, no, this is a lot of times, I would just say, like, a lot of plates. Like, there's very specific uses. Like, and like, little things like jumping off of the ledge, jumping off of the ledge, something. There's like a, there's like a big difference. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, like, This right here, like I love that we're taking a couple shots moving around. Like, the way that we clear the last map was really good. Like I love that we're taking a couple shots and like we're not sitting on the top. Constantly moving and we're not sitting on the top. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, 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 I might get the first place this side back there. Oh, what would you recommend push for two? Um, I don't know. But, like, our teammates had coins there, after we got those screw in. So I would try to use, like, their plan would give us a win. So because we're already, like, up in their face, like, I, I'd want to, like, try to take fights and just eat a bunch of enemy pressure. Mm. Like, force them to look at you, so... So that your teammates can, like, get those coins in. And if they don't look at you, you can look at them. Exactly. So, if we needed a really big, well, even if we needed a big push, I'd probably still recommend you, like, eat pressure when you're already up there, because that's just like such a good, that's such a high value position that I don't want us to like give it up for frames. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Because if you get picked, you're too much. I trust you getting picks up there, then your teammates coming out of, coming from mid and pushing up. Uh, okay. Yeah. No, that makes sense. Like, just again, it's like, um, ah, uh, yeah, it's a slow roll. Um, again, it's the not giving up a key position if you don't have to. Yeah. I wouldn't play me in the type of Just off the macro game, like, your team had enough plans at that moment. So, so if you can just find a pick, you can more, more than likely see that. Complications. Yeah, that's still something I need to work a lot on is understanding what weapon is being is coming back in. You know, I've been caught by a few splashdowns, a few charger slicers, <laughs> for sure. It's a little bit more variable. Mm -hmm. You like get a suction bomb and it explodes in their room, no matter where they go. Yeah, that makes sense. It's like perfect. Sometimes 
There's definitely a lot easier to like, jump on. Because you can like... Yeah. Oh. The shadow. Like, losing the thing. Like, you can mm -hmm. call... Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, that's not there. Um, I like to grab where we did, but there has to be something in our head that... Tells us there yeah, could be a plank. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, when then we can spawn, and then it's like maybe another spike. Yeah, no, that's the thought I've been thinking to myself recently is like, I have to get a lot better at understanding respawn timings and what weapons respawning. Like, I don't pay attention to it right now, for real, if I'm being honest. I would say there's very specific moments that I'm not into it. Mm -hmm. It's something I do probably more than half the time, but it's something you like. It's something that I need to work on. It definitely helps because like, if there's like one coming in, you have a you can potentially work on that. Yeah, exactly. Depending on like the actual weapon, it, it'll like change the way that you yeah and this will honestly um we haven't really seen it yet but this is the first and i've mentioned it already in terms of i'm starting to fight different weapons differently but this is definitely i realize a skill that i'm getting or like i'm developing is the ability to to know what weapon I'm fighting. I mean, it sounds silly. It's not <laughs> like to know exactly what weapon I'm fighting against at any given time. I'm like, and then also to be like, okay, this type of weapon, I just, cause the, I, you're gonna see me fight a lot of Nautilus at some point. And then I just made a rule that says like, I'm just not gonna 1v1 a Nautilus ever. I'm just going to run away from it. I'm just gonna run to the other side of the map. I don't know if I do it in this game, but I probably get punished for it, and this is probably what gives me the thought, but... Um... Hmm? So this is the lore. Yeah, this is the lore, but I definitely, like, start respecting these weapons, or just, like, fighting different weapons differently, and I'm starting to realize it more in the moment, which is something I I knew I've always had to work on, but I'm actually starting to see that I'm getting there. Yeah, no, 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 like, it's definitely a skill. Yeah. It, it's also one of those things that like, it comes with time, but it's also another thing that like, you have to kind of like, have to do the song, but like, cause like, exactly. that's like, one, that's one skill where I'm, if I'm locked in like, or something, like, I'll be really good at it, but if I'm like, very busy, like, I'm not actually thinking about it, I mean, when you're that far forward, I probably think yeah <laughs> Yeah, like this, I, what was what was going on in my mind here is I was like, I just want to waste as much time with this as possible. I know it's a five minute match and I'm like, well, if I burn like a minute and a half off the clock and we get a score really late, then that's just one less push. I mean, it's probably a bad thing to think, <laughs> but that was the thought that was going through my mind. I was like, yeah, I just wanted to burn the time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And there I just thought it was going to be suicide if I dropped down, so I just was perfectly content build, like just building my special here. I just didn't want any of the smoke, unless... Yeah. I don't know if I commit there, but I think you can kind of like... Edge your 
like, the fan over there. Mm -hmm. That way we at least have the option. Do we want to go for the fight or do we want to go for the fight? Like, I'm okay mm -hmm. if we end up with the same as they were we're at. And just go for the but I'd, I'd rather us move that over there and give us the option. But if we don't... If we don't, if we don't move it over there, then like they know that they don't have to do it. But if you move the fan to that, like that's another thing that we have to worry about. If you want them to just like kind of think about it. Yeah, see, even there, as soon as I saw the Nautilus, I was like, I'm just dipping. <laughs> I just didn't want any smoke cups. Yeah, once we were up there, I think we probably could have uh, backed up on the way. I'm, I'm okay with that. Don't want to. Oh, <laughs> I didn't even know. I remember that too. Every map, there's certain jumps or there's certain things. Every player, like, think about those things. Right on the edge. Yeah, you're playing with your life every single time that you go on the right side or left side. This is the one time I broke my rule and I failed. <laughs> I should not. What the? Yeah. I was I thinking. Think we're a little bit faster. At mm hmm. So, right like this second, we have a power This game ends now. <laughs> we made the climb on I should have died. I'm so. I was so lucky that I didn't die there because I didn't even go behind cover or anything. I was like, it just super jumped immediately. Yeah, maybe we could have been a little bit better about that. Yeah. Maybe we Nothing's worse than having like that perfect jump and then you can just jump through it. So. Nah, jump into that is so sad. I did see it that time, thankfully. You restored your teammates' faith in humanity with that <laughs> Alternatively, I could have died by a fizzy bomb right there. <laughs> yeah, or the rain. The rain could have been or the rain. There was plenty of things that could have ended ended that in a tragic way, but we just luckily we got it done. We move on. Yeah, <laughs> calculated. I knew I'd only take 99 damage. It's all part of my plan. I've been thinking about how to fight Hammer, and so far I've just landed on just a, a standoff <laughs> where I just shoot at their feet, and whoever wins the standoff, <laughs> it's probably the horrible way to think about it, but that's at least the one that if I if my aim is on, it's been working. But then they could always just throw it in my face too, and I could die. But so far, no one has done that. I don't know. <laughs> 
they go for the throw animation and I think either one, I don't know about these specifically, but when I'm playing, if I'm playing Splash, like I, I don't know if I'm going play, unless they're like, I don't know. Because like, I don't trust the game, just to stay there. Like, it might work. Uh, That's too short, I understand. Yeah, it's like, I feel like it's comfortable. If you're playing what? Ink? If I'm playing like a touch shot, a touch shot. Mmm, yeah. yeah. Well, Splat Doors and V-Shot has exactly the same range. Is that normal mode or is that, I feel like... I, I In both. Oh, yeah, okay. both modes are the same range. Uh -huh. I don't know. Yeah, that's exactly uh, I don't, I don't play the level. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I feel like if I was in turret mode against the hammer, like I'd probably be able to see that. But I don't know if I would recommend it. It's so, it's so weird cutting this down. Like you have to like, play it over and you can play it over. Yeah. 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 Really? How's it easier in Splatoon 2? Maybe it's just like, you know, but like, I feel like I can consistently cancel them. I did play a lot of Zap. I, I played... I played Shot, and I played Zap. I played like... I feel like, 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 like there was more... Like, 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 but I don't know if that's... But it just it feels like... Mm. Well, yeah, I, I don't really know how Slasher could be a, a stamp unless, of course, they have the back turn. I don't know how that hitbox works. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, there's some weapons that are just completely screwed over by a stamp. Like, in terms of, that's just really shooter slash dually. Like, they definitely have the um, privilege in terms of which weapon class can, like, deal with that. Like, Zap, I think, is the coolest. Yes, nice and long. Yeah. I'll never do that again. Oh, I'm so glad I jumped here. I thought it was like. Oh, what am I doing? Oh, yeah, I remember this. That sucks. Yeah. Yeah. I like how we went to ball form when it's like a bomb. I wonder if you're sitting in a try strike. If you like mash the I don't actually. But I don't know I either. There's, prob that's there's probably a not enough time. Oh yeah, you're probably saying like, is the hitbox like it's like a global hitbox type thing all the way down in terms of like, yeah, like it'll go through the crab shield instead of actually. Yeah, like how it works. Yeah, yeah. Interesting. I don't know. Actually. That's a good question. Because Booyah Bomb's a lot easier to, to survive. Yeah. Most times if you get stuck in a tri strike, you're kind of screwed. Unless you're at the very, very tip, and sometimes you can... Um, it's another, like, intuition thing, where it's like, some, like you'll know if you can hit it or not, but... Yeah, because it's like 1,500 damage, so... I yeah. Definitely impossible to... But then, yeah, is it... it that's interesting. How does a hitbox work in terms of does it go through things or not? I mean, it doesn't go through. It doesn't go down. Wait, does it go down through the grate? Like, say if you play. I mean, like if there's a bridge on Eel Tail Alley, does it go below the yeah. bridge? It goes, so the way that the hitbox works, it goes. If it, it, it depends on so where. It, it depends on where the actual. 
If you throw it underneath glass, it'll like hit the glass. Like it'll go like and everything. Like it definitely will do. But if you throw it on the top of the grate, like it will also box of Technically it's like slightly under, but on Undertow for example, if you throw it on top of the But there are some We can get tagged by it. Mm. But yeah, it, it isn't spooky. Yeah. I played, played Rumble recently. It's fun. Right now, I mean, it's a tough one. The, the, the bottom of the Rumble hole gets in the And it like, doesn't do anything. Because the start of that hitbox is like, I'm not going to do Interesting. I've never played a tri strike weapon, so I do not know anything about that. Ooh, that's scary. I'm surprised I lived there. Oh! I would have come a little bit faster to like. I would have prioritized it a lot more. Something to tell you, you had a time. Have like a very quick like your team is basically done. Like the enemy has a really quick counter attack on the back side of it. <laughs> but if you were able to get more connecting, like if you were to get three connecting, a you can probably get faster with them even longer. But maybe like your teammates can spawn in and set up with their connection score power thing. Yeah, no, I was definitely like, I guess I should have just been more focused on um, getting the clamps in faster. But I definitely realized I was like, oh, I'm just like two milliseconds too slow to get to keep the basket open. I mean, you know, 
Yeah, there's so many different angles that they can come from, like you can't really... You can't really predict which one you're gonna have to cover. Sounds like I... You can't cover them all, unfortunately. Yeah. So you have to, like, your best guess. Um, I will say, throughout a lot of these Clan Blitz, uh, maps... Like... We're playing a lot more... Um... Like we're playing for crab more than playing for picks. Not necessarily yeah. like a good or a bad thing, um, but just something that I've noticed. Um, oh, that la that last game, I specifically was playing for crab because I was like, I don't want to have to deal with the Nautilus. There was like a lot of weapons that I didn't feel like dealing with. And I was like, especially the Nautilus. I was thinking of the Nautilus first and foremost, and I was like, I'd rather just play for crab instead of trying to get into a lot of fights and then just use crab to try to take space and support the team. So it, it was a thought there that I was gonna, I was literally playing for crab that time instead of not. Yeah. Do you think on some of these videos, uh... Yeah. yeah, there was a couple of times where like, just like, look at your too, like, which is like there isn't one or the other, but that's something that I've noticed from your perspective. And I, I think sometimes we can be a little bit more preferable to like Like sometimes the economy is good. Right here we can make a big call and if we didn't have the one Opening, but if, if that opening wasn't there, we just like, so, like there's certain spots where like I'm okay with like, stuff, but there's definitely some time to like, right here we have to But if yeah, we were right there, we could have like transitioned that into like, blocking them and just like sitting in the pressure. And then like, the pressure. So I just wanna make sure that like we're yeah, no, that's fair. But like right now our team needs a but our team doesn't have to be Yeah, I'm trying that more often now. Like, definitely thinking about using the clam more as bait. Like, the power clam as bait. Uh, so, in this kind of situation, instead of taking this fight to you could have blown the on the far right side. Like, oh, true, true. Where, like, you prioritize your life and you just, like, Oh yeah, but it's also a one-frame window, isn't it? 
Yeah, that's <laughs> true. But yeah, it is true. That is. Might as well go for it, right? <laughs> oh, Dredge Ringer is my kryptonite for real. Yeah, you can't, like, you get outranged by it, so you kind of have to, like. Like, th that's one of those weapons where, like, you either commit into them and, like, take damage or take back out. Because the thing about Dredge Ringer is, like, it is, like, a two shot weapon. Yeah. Like, it has to slosh twice. So if you if you if you haven't taken any damage from it, like you can you can eat a full like both parts of the dread ringer and still survive. Mm -hmm. So if if you're like at full health, you can probably just run into them and get the fight to free. But if you're a little bit low, then you probably just just don't interact with them. They're in both together. Yeah. Wait for some support. That's true. Yeah. Good time. Good for them. Oh yeah, this comp here. <laughs> yeah, I can already tell you the thought in my head for this game was I'm just gonna chill and just let them get all the picks. I'm just gonna paint and get clamped. That was literally my game plan. I didn't even want to be aggressive, but I felt like they could just handle it. So, if you see me doing that, that that's the why. If I didn't mess up, I would have the time to do that. And once our team, team is pushing in and everything there, like that's where, like, if our team already has like the space, like we can take those fights and it's good. And like, by taking that fight slower, like we can pull six of them. Play a bomb for four of them. Play a bomb for four of them. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, because like, the situation here, like... It's super, like, small, but I wouldn't even focus on the hand there. I wouldn't focus on the knee, like... Like, like it, it's a really small thing, but we wasted, like, three seconds, like, that much more. And it, it's not a bad play by any means, but if our team already has enough points, like, if they have, like, 11 kill taking points, I think they'll, like, make up all the like, best a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, Prioritize space. The, you have the freedom to, yeah, play very simply. So there's that other time on the show where you get a bunch of times on the map, but then you just on me. I still decided to fight you. But like, in that spot, I'm I like that. Not prioritizing picking up flames, but I think in the spot where we already have the I would literally say the rule of thumb is like a ball across like three or four times. So like if we have like it's it's very rare. Sometimes like even just having because like sports is an example, like the block planes are too generous. On sports planes, uh you, know, you just have a ball that you can like, like, As long as like you're really good at as long as someone on your team is good at it. Like, and rotating and getting clamps. Yeah. But I would say generally, like, as long as your team has, like, 11 is probably fine, but 12, 13, like, I think like that. And you talking about 11 between all of us, or 11 specifically yeah. in my teammate's hands? Yeah, like, top three. So, like, that number on top But if it's 11 in your team, oh, yeah, yeah. I see, of I see. them, yeah, that, that's a difference. Wait, story. why have I never been looking at that number? I always count the actual... I mean, I know that number exists, but I actually just count the clams under the weapons. It, it's good to look at that, though, to be able to see like, like which weapons have which clams. Yeah, exactly. Like, there are certain spots where, like, if, if your team has, like, 12 clams, like, every single clam out there, Versus someone having seven, someone having four, someone having mm -hmm. one. Like, you're gonna be slower. Like, if someone's close to a power clam, it's a lot easier to set up the push. Versus, yeah, like, versus everyone. it being evenly split between everyone. But then I still never look at that number, though. That's the real thing I'm just realizing. That's kind of like the cheat code. Like, I would probably say, like, 90% of the time, like, you can look at that number and not really put too hard. Yeah, I've never. I don't know why I never do that. Yeah, that's funny. The other thing with clam blitz is um, like the the little number on the like on not in the UI but like actually on the screen, like there's a number that indicates like your teammate that has like the most clams. Like you probably know that it's there, but wait. <laughs> The number. Wait, so like, what? As, as, <laughs> yeah, as your teammates pick up clams, like you notice uh -huh. in like the center of the screen and stuff, okay. like, you'll see over your teammates' head that has the most clams, like what that number is. Like you can see for yourself. Oh, that arrow? Like, no, so like you have the most clams, but like you see how the, there's a four on the left side? There's a five on the left side? Four or five? What do you mean? Far left. Far left? I see nine. Like oh, you're team. talking about periphery. Periphery. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, like, whoever has the most clams on your team, it shows you what that number is. Oh, what? That's what that number is? Yeah. It'll show for both if there's a number. What? You are blowing my mind right now. I just thought that number was, like, showing everyone's clams at all times. It's the person with the most. Wow. You actually are blowing my mind. Throwing things. Also within your controls. If you see it over top of your head, then you're going to the most. Just a little, like, it, it's not like a big deal, but sometimes, like, when you're in the or when there's a lot going on, like, you can get That is so interesting. Man, you just blew my mind with that for real. Oh yeah, this team here, I was like, there's no way we're losing this game actually. Our comp was just so good. 
Well, no. <laughs> but oh. I'm just saying. <laughs> Wait. Um. No, I mean, actually, everything went well. Everything went fine. Oh, no, this wasn't the comp. Or was this the comp? I would say it's a pretty good Yeah, I just thought our comp was better than theirs. That's all I really thought. <laughs> well, yeah, if they can, like, coordinate with a tent, then it's scary, but... I was looking at the double crab and... No, triple crab. We had triple crab, actually. Goodness. Um... Oh yeah, I remember that now. I remember thinking, I'm not going for this. <laughs> I'm just gonna cry out of that. The one thing to know in those situations is that like, you might come up with that decision and then like three seconds later, something, something else happens that, that changes it. Yeah. Just make sure that you're flexible with it, but like, uh, throughout that entire play. Got that entire play, like, I think it was Oh yeah, and then another thought that was going through my head is that I don't want to 1v1 the edit. That's what I was thinking. So those are the two thoughts in my head this game. Really. Yeah, So you're saying I should have fought the heavy edit faster than I did there instead of like slowly going around for since they were engaged with someone else. Yeah, I think it's taking them. Usually if you're just holding them, that's usually the go ahead to just like Just go as fast as possible. Again, there's there's gonna be ten cases. It's a I would again probably say <laughs> I could have been faster there. And it real. That could have cost the game for real. But it didn't, but it could have. Really? <laughs> Just because of like how the match was. Not because of like your mistake was that bad, but like the way that the the macro was, like after that play happened, I had a <laughs> Yeah. I also thought that my team was doing really well, though. I was like, they're just gonna. Yeah. I kind of have faith that they're just gonna take care of it. I mean, that was a bad thing to have faith in, but <laughs> that is Not, how I felt at the time. I mean, honestly, like I, I again, it's like a read that you make. I think that's mm -hmm. a very like throughout that entire match. I think that's a fair assessment. For like the late game, like, they proved themselves to be able to be like, reliable with that stuff. So, yeah. yeah. So, yeah like, trusting solo queue teammates usually not the play, but like, I think you can make read. You know, like, and especially when you play like at higher ranks. And you see, I mean, even now, like, you, see, like, you probably see some similar people from time to time. But, like, you also can get read. Based on, like, Oh, I, I like I have like a mental list of my team, like, people that I trust. Uh, so true. Honestly, the, <laughs> the person I kept playing against, or really against, this whole 
thing was Zion. Sushi Zion, that's her. Her tag is Sushi and her name is Zion. I kind of fell back. <laughs> We, when we were on a team together, we won, but then, like, I just have to keep giving them the L. I'm like, I'm sorry, Zion. This is actually them right here. Um, when going for the crap battles, I was, there was one time I saw a Duke player, like, they literally, like, beat someone. Like, they shot over the crab and like someone in the crab. But I would say 99% of the time, unless you're ridiculous like that player, like, I'm still going away with that. Um, outside of that scenario, like you can shoot a little bit lower, like on the body. Like if you know that you started shooting before them, like you wouldn't have played. You know? Like, if you start shooting at their body, you're gonna start their crab. Oh, that's interesting because I always do go for the beam. I always try to aim a little higher to try to get the headshot. <laughs> I, I would say like literally like 99% of the time, like just because like you yeah. don't want to like you don't want to go for the easy play and then like yeah. <laughs> because I would say normally like. When it comes to the head to head, like, if you start shooting them first, like, commit to it, and if they start shooting before you, like, better, like, die. or, like, you're, you know you're gonna get shredded first, so, like, make sure you're uncovered by the time you're crowded space. Mm, yeah. Yeah, it's never been a thought that calculation has not been in my head. I always just try to go for the beam. <laughs> it works out sometimes, it doesn't work out sometimes, and, okay. I've I mean, I don't really go for the beam, so maybe it is like, that you can like definitely get the crab. I saw it one time it was like, like, you know, one of those times like, I don't know if I actually beamed the, the uh the forge last game at the very edge. If you, <laughs> if you I would say normally if you're shooting the first like just take the easy one. Yeah, no, that's, that's actually wise. That's actually very wise. Yeah, I never think about it, but that's like the better play, for sure. <laughs> like, I, it just never has entered my head. I'm always like, well, whoever gets a headshot first. <laughs> it's, so, like, it's such a bad estimation. Of it, I don't think about it. <laughs> high standards. I have high standards and bad aim, so I don't know how that. <laughs> I mean, if you go for it, like, if you've been going for it all this time, like, you're probably, like, pretty solid. Like, there's probably some mechanics that are developed there. But even with those mechanics, like, I'd probably still recommend you shooting them with the body. Yeah. But if, yeah. But if, 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 you, if you do want to take time, okay, this rotation, I'm focusing with my crab to, like, do other crabs, like, go for it. Like, it's definitely, I... like, a, a learnable skill, but I feel like it's not what? worth the effort to be that person. <laughs> Well, you know, I think I think it's a thing of like what how confident I'm feeling in my aim that day. If I f or in that match, if I feel like really hot, I feel like I can win it. I'll probably just go for it. But okay. if I feel, but if I, I think it's good to mention that it should be a decision point though, because I yeah. didn't think about it before. And this was my best game of the night. Or the day, I guess. This is the last game and the best game, in my opinion. But maybe you, or maybe you'll see it and think maybe not. But in my estimation, this is my favorite game. It's like when you find a funny video and you send it to your friends, and then no one laughs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, you start questioning your life choices, questioning your friends, or questioning your humor. <laughs> Those spots, like when you have something in this one, it's also where you can plant the block block on the screen. And if your teammates have, like, because your team have like 17 plans or something, you know, mm -hmm. you, can just, you can just be like a diva and just like sit in front of the basket and just spam like, this, this way. This way. Yeah, this like, like yeah, you're definitely yeah. being more respectful with like, 
I play, but I'm also a really annoying person in this game. Mm-hmm. Is he not even paying attention? If he's not playing, then I would say something. Yeah. I think in this kind of spot, like, I think we can take a I feel like we're... We played, like... We're, like... Oh, this was a misstep. I remember that. I remember that. I was thinking, this was the one play I was like, uh, I, why did I do that? <laughs> it was an like autopilot crab. Yeah. If we threw in, like, we didn't go for I would have probably gone for them, but if we would have thrown in, we would have gone for yeah. And again, these spots you have a full team. There's opportunities for you to run down the second ball. In this area. You can throw a suction bomb on the ledge, so it's kind of back them up. You can throw a suction bomb on the feet, so you have a paint to your score. But there's a lot of different setups and that's what you can have with it. If you have the pain and you're putting yourself in a family, there's a decent, at least 40 to 60% chance that you're going to die after scoring, or you use the resources you have. Okay. Yeah, I think it's just like, you Oh, Leaf like jumping over and then shooting. Well, that was like, sick. Play was really good. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I do think in this spot you could have stayed up top. Because like you can't spot to the But I would have stayed up top on the Anakin side. Probably, oh, uh, ping this way? Then. Yeah, I mean, you could ping this way if you wanted to look for the bounce. You could also just try to, like, look through. Like, I was gonna say, like, prioritize, like, not showing your position in the game. It's like, play with the bounce. Like, the Luna's gonna know generally where you're at. And that's another one like, that you can do, where, like, once the Luna spawns in, and they can't see your cam thing anymore, like, you can change your position. I don't do it a lot, but when I'm feeling like I'm really fun, I'll do that. Or, like, I'll start <laughs> it a lot, and then right when they respawn, I'm like, I'm going to the position. But because I stayed in the same spot after I watched from that person, they're going to think I'm going to come in while I'm just going to stay there. Mm. Yeah, yeah, It's not worth the mental record. <laughs> Sometimes it's funny. <laughs> One of the things that, like, if it works, you feel like it's funny. Damn, it doesn't work. Yeah. I like that we don't finish the fight because it's a lot of gold. Yeah. Real, real nice. I definitely think some of the powerful, at least that one time, I think that we could have, uh, we could have just, like, stayed up there. But. There's also that play toward the beginning where you were sitting on the enemy team's right side and you ended up mm -hmm. staying alive and like ended up getting a pick. So like the result was like perfect, but our movement looked a little bit sporadic and a little panic looking kind of from my perspective. Um, and I think mm -hmm. we could like chill a little bit. Like when we have a bunch of cover and the enemy team has to drop off ledges to like try to fight us. Cause like when we're, when we're sitting like in their like TP area. Yeah. Like the very far, it was like when you score the basket and you go all the way to the right side. You yeah, know, super far right side. Like, yeah. Mm -hmm. So like there's that pillow over there. There's like those ledges and like that little like ramp that you can like sw swim up. Um, like you have a bunch of cover over there. So you have to think from their perspective, especially if they're a bunch of shooter players. Like you don't want to sit under the ledge against like a Trislosh or like an Octobrush because they can just like 
shoot over the ledge without having to like know exactly where you're at and still get a pick on you. Mm -hmm. uh, but if it's like I forgot who was in what was the comp? Uh, I think it was like a ninety. I think it was two shooters. It was like a swap. I don't even remember. Like Luna Blaster. It was ninety six. Luna would be. Uh, it was ninety six that we got the pick on. I think it was ninety six. It had to have either been the zap or the or, or the end parries. Yeah. But either way, it's like those things, like they can't shoot over the ledge very easily. So just to kind of feed into that idea you had before of like thinking about the enemy team and the weapons that you're fighting, mm -hmm. you can also think about it a little bit more indirectly of like the spots that you're able to position based off of like what comp the enemy team has. It's so like the, if the mm -hmm. enemy team is primarily shooters, like we can sit under ledges really comfortably. Cause like in order for them to shoot us under a ledge, assuming they don't hit a crazy pre-fire or like shooting over a ledge, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, like, they're never gonna do that. You know, they're, 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 <laughs> they're just different. Like, yeah, exactly. Um, but like when we're playing against primarily shooters, like we can. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Sorry. No worries. Um, <laughs> like they have to actually like commit and like look over the ledge to be able to take a fight with you, which means that your teammates can probably see them as they're like going for that type of play. And also, mm, yeah. like, if they, as a duelies, like you can also respond with like rules to reposition, like and stuff it's yeah. so, like when you're in those spots definitely feel free to like chill a little bit like if you were playing against like tri slash and octo rush and stuff that um or if it was like the luna that was up on that ledge then i'm okay with the way that we position being a little bit away like off um oh. off the cover yeah like putting some space between us and the cover just because we want to avoid those weapons but that's like another thing as you're looking at comps going into the match um you can definitely like optimize the way that you play in any given match by knowing what like when you need to be playing like when it's advantageous to play up against the cover and when it's advantageous to give some speed off the cover mm -hmm. and even if you're playing against an octobrush sometimes you can like climb up a wall or a tri slash like sometimes you can take those we those bad fights if they don't know that you're there like obviously if they're like fighting you and chasing you like don't, don't give them a free pick but if they don't know you're there you can still like if they don't have the info, it doesn't matter what weapon. You can just clean any of them up. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, it's yeah. a new thought. A new thought to think about. Yeah, it's just kind of like a, a small addition to everything you're talking about in terms of like how knowing the weapon that you're actually fighting with and knowing how to play the matchup. To, exactly. Exactly. Uh, exactly. No, the matchup was really good. I, I like the. I think we did the good. We had a nice balance of like collecting clams and also like taking good spots on the map. And again, like like you said, I think a lot of these matches was definitely that that no hesitation that you were mentioning. Where even like there were some cases where like I didn't necessarily like like I was mentioning before, I think sometimes we focused on the objective a little bit more than focusing on like going for picks. Mm -hmm. And there's a time to do both, but I think um, we're in terms of like the spectrum i think we're a little bit closer to objective and i think there's more use cases where we could probably be more selfish and, go for and just like let our teammates do the objective but um but regardless of those decisions i'm incredibly happy that like i could probably count on one hand like the actual hesitation plays that were made it's like oh like there's a couple of times like against like the nautilus and against that the heavy edit on marlin where it's like we were just like a little bit faster but I, yeah. I don't really consider that hesitation that's just like i don't know it's almost just like like it's like it's the difference between being like locked in and not locked in yeah exactly yeah like sometimes your fingers move faster and your hands move <laughs> faster i don't know how to explain it but exactly like your brain has to catch up to a thing or not catch like i i understand exactly what you mean yeah. like i think from a macro basis of like okay our team want to fight now it's time for me to get into a position or you know i'm getting clams to score and stuff like i think we're very um we're very smart about our plays and we're very decisive about it and i think our routing was really good outside of that one thing of like that left stack where it's just like uh, sure it's just in as well but yeah, yeah, like did, yeah. There, there's so like that's the thing about Mako was like there's so many walls, and there's such a difference between climbing like a different wall, or even if you're climbing the same wall, 
but you like don't climb up the center. You climb up like the yeah, you climb up the far, far right. left, far right. Yeah. When you watch anyone, they always just go through the center. Exactly. Yeah. There's something in our human brain that <laughs> like things being centered. Like, yeah. even, like conditioned. To, we like, just don't want to be near a ledge. Is there our fear of yeah. heights? It's like, just yeah, put me like directly on solid ground. <laughs> like. Exactly. But it's funny because like yeah, Splatoon is like the exact opposite. It goes against all of those uh, yeah. intuitive ways that our brain functions. So it's it's like it's not something that you're gonna like it's gonna make a big deal now, but mm -hmm. if it's something that you can think about, like you'll definitely give yourself a nice advantage and not that you don't already have enough things to think about, but you know. No, all the things, all the things. I need to think about all of them. I mean, I, everything in their own time, but. Yeah. So what are your powers at right now? Uh, let's see. Matters, I'm just oh, yeah. No, yeah, this is actually it's, um, hit a milestone today, actually, with this. Milestone? Uh-oh. Yes. I mean. Did hmm? Did we hit a peak or? Well, yes, we did hit a peak, but then... Oh, no, this is not how you check powers. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Yo, nice. All 19... Like, the low... I got 19 across the board now, so now it's just about raising it to 2,000. Keep raising it. Yeah. But... We definitely grinded the flame blitz, so now it's... Now it's on, on par with everything. Else. Yes, on par, finally. I was at 1,200-something. <laughs> Were you? I was at 1200. Yeah, I was at 1200. Wait, did you start at 1200 or did you? Did no, you... I started at. I actually was looking at this today. I started very low, though. Let me see what I started at. I can. I'm trying to have... think of the lowest number that I've like seen. I think 1200 might be the lowest. Yeah, like, not, no, I was not as, in like, the a... pit. No, I, exactly. Like, no, I understand. Or anything, but, like, <laughs> I just like. Cause... Like in Splatoon 2, it's like you would you get, get kicked out. out of, yeah, exactly. Like if you went under like, I think it was like 1900 or something. Yeah, I actually thought that the game would just stop matching me with games. Because yeah, sometimes they'll like, lock you out. Yeah, I remember that was like a concern when you were first grinding. Exa yeah, I remember even voicing that to you. I was like, I think yeah. it's going to lock me out. <laughs> but like, cause it's very common. Like, I I've very commonly seen people like on my friends list and like just watching people play. That are mm -hmm. like 15, 1600. Mm -hmm. uh, and I know a couple of people that have been like 14 and maybe like 13, like high 13s, but I've never mm -hmm. heard 12. So, so I started at 15, 24. Did that you was my first season? Um, not really, no. Okay. So this I is can... my first season really playing X rank. I played Sheesh. like a couple games last season, but not really. Gotcha, gotcha. So this is my first season actually doing it. Yeah, I started at 1524, but then I went down all the way to Oh, 1399. 1399 in Clan Bliss and 1303 in Splat Zones. Look at that. I guess I never went down to 1200. <laughs> Low third, like almost 1300 is pretty. Well, 1303 oh. is pretty much 12, <laughs> almost yeah. 1200. <laughs> But yeah, so I've definitely grown a lot since then. Definitely. Mm -hmm. It's only up from here. Top 500 people want to get over the 2K hump. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and I won. You against top 500. I know. <laughs> I'm gonna play know. against Love Star and all the other sweats. I know. It's it becomes very sweaty, but. I think in every mode except Clan Blitz, because I haven't hit 2K. I've hit 2K in everything except Clan Blitz. But also in every mode except Clan Blitz, I've won one series. <laughs> I've won one series like post-2000. Nice, nice. And then fell back down. Gotcha. So what is, is 2040 like a peak for you? In no, actually my peak is 2090. Point. Oof. It's 2090. So close to the 21. Yeah, it's really close. Really close. Very soon. Very soon. Um, yeah, I think I think we're, we're gonna get there soon. I 
Like we, there's only a couple more weeks in the season, so I don't know if I'm gonna hit 2300. But I'm gonna try my best. That's all I'll say. Yeah. I'll try my best. One, once you like, like once once you feel like fully comfortable, it's just a matter of like playing. Cause you're like, like I was saying before, like, yes, on average you're gonna play against slightly higher powered people, like as you continue to climb from 2k mm -hmm. to 21, 22, but like you're playing like high level like they're, they're already throwing you against higher level a lot people, of top like 500s I, yeah i feel like every single game put in 2000 that i play is with top 500 and i remember splat zones the last time i was above 2000 no actually no it was i was at 2090 in tower control and i actually was up 2-0 but then they just kept matching me with like there was two other people who were top 500 on the other side. I mean, which I'm happy about because I'm trying to get there myself. In the long run, it's better, but also, like, let me just get... get but yeah, I was just like, just let me... <laughs> can you please give this one to me, please? <laughs> but no, it, the game would not give it to me. <laughs> so, um, yeah. But, yeah. But getting better, I'm definitely, like starting to feel more comfortable even in plus 2000 i'm like okay this is a pace yeah i think for the most part like i mean th th there's definitely a lot of things i will continue to like work on and improve on but i don't think there's anything too like glaring that's like oh this is gonna like hold you back for sure um i think for the most part like we're pretty well rounded in terms of like, which is exactly where I want it to be by the end of this season. If I can say I'm at least well-rounded as an, like as a player, like my fundamentals are at least somewhat there and I just have to improve on them, that's where I want to be. Yeah. Like I like there's definitely certain parts of your game like your like your spacing in particular and like I don't know. Like Yeah, but like your spacing is like really really good and your movement is like very 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 good as well. Um not that your movement can't get better, because like, oh, only, yeah. like there's a difference between like your average player and then someone like Jared playing dualies. Mm -hmm. Which is like Jared is so like there's a level of fluidity that like I didn't even know was possible. <laughs> uh, so, you know, you'll you'll continue to improve as long as you're you know, really trying to lock in when you're playing. But mm -hmm. but yeah, I mean definitely where you're at, your your movement is and like thoughts about like playing and stuff is like far surpassed the people that you're going to be playing against so that'll be like a really nice advantage for you when it comes to taking those fights uh honestly i think like a lot of the stuff that you're going to learn um and again like you know there's still stuff that you're trying to work on i think like sometimes being a little bit sharper with like our crabs and stuff we can be a little bit better we talked about suction bombs today and like introducing mm -hmm. more use cases but i i think like this is where like playing a lot of solo queue is going to be very advantageous for you because there's so many little tricks that you learn it's like a rite of passage as mm -hmm. you play against like better and better people like you're just gonna have to deal like you're gonna deal with like just people doing strong stuff you know like people are gonna ledge camp a lot more um people are gonna like shark in random spots that you know normally you wouldn't have to really worry about mm -hmm. and you know people have specials ready for you and you're popping crabs and you know like some of that stuff like it's not really like it's good to acknowledge it when you notice these things but it's not something that you can like plan for ahead of time not that there isn't things that you can keep working on but i think really taking in and observing like just the different things that you see with an open mind like you know if your teammates do something really good it's like oh like, yeah that's really nice like for example like it, it's super small like on uh, Mako clams like you had like I think six clams and you were climbing the short cup on the enemy team side like that little mm -hmm. block to get to top left and like, yeah. a, like as you were crossing it like your teammate was already throwing like two clams at your feet and stuff and like mm -hmm. as you play more I'd be like oh yeah like people are like really nice about this stuff and sometimes um, like another one of those types of objective plays is like if if I'm playing with like a Hydra or something in tower control and they're like sitting on tower because they're hydra and then they like i see that they have special up i'll like take the tower from them 
so that we can keep the tower moving when they mm -hmm. like, they can also like pop their, their booyah and everything they pop the booyah yeah so like yeah those small things <laughs> yeah and definitely other things like stampers like recalling and using their vertical slashes and um there's little things like the way that people take fights the way people like approach certain scenarios you'll definitely notice some differences the more and more that you play so as long as you have like an open mind when you're playing you can like you can you can learn a lot from other people where like someone can do like a piece of tech and like oh kind of nice and then if you like if you're watching like you mentioned you're watching Kyo or you're watching like jared or something like when you're watching them play, you can be a little bit more, um, not that you couldn't before, but it's like, you can be a little bit more like, oh, like I can implement that game. Like I, like that's, you can watch their matches and like follow their logic a lot easier. I feel exactly, like a lot of times yeah. when I'm like newer to a competitive game, like, mm -hmm. or like I'm not like in it as much. Like a lot of times when I'm watching, it's like this with fighting games a lot because I've, I've been out of fighting games for so long that mm -hmm. a lot of times I'm like watching it for like the spectacle. Exactly. Yeah. Where it's just like, the... I, I don't know what's happening in Smash, <laughs> but, like, the big tournament, and like it's just hype when stuff, it just like, looks like, fancy yeah. and cool. Yeah. It's just exactly. hype. Yeah. But like, in so sometimes like when I'm newer to a game, like I'll, I'll start that way. But I think um, I, I'd actually be really interested. I don't know. The next time that you watch like a higher level player and stuff but mm -hmm. um, if jared's playing like a dualies or something like or who's the jp player that you watch i forgot oh kotaji yeah like if you watch their gameplay i'd be interested if like not that like anyway, there's probably a lot of cases where you can like predict what they're gonna do next but like if they do something that's like different than you like can you follow their logic like is it do you have to like mm sometimes people make decisions like i'll watch melon and i'm like i have no idea with no like, clue why they did that <laughs> but then sometimes it'll be like for the most part i probably say like 70 80 percent of the time i can follow it like point by point pretty easily mm -hmm. um and then there'll be certain things where it's like yeah i would never do this but like yeah this is like so good like when they hold certain positions i'm like oh no yeah like this makes way more sense and this is way better than i like approach this mm -hmm. type of like fight or holding this part of the map so i'd be interested how that translates it's not that big of a deal but like if you do watch someone i try to at least for like a couple of games try to watch like super analytical where like chat is closed and like you know it, usually it's easier with a vod because if you need to pause it you can pause it but mm -hmm. um but yeah i definitely think you're at a point where you're you're pretty I think you have all of the fundamentals that I can think of. I'm sure there's probably something that I'm missing, like, but that's probably more in like an organized, coordinated environment. Like when it comes like callouts and like certain other random things, I'm sure mm -hmm. I'm probably missing something. But uh, yeah, no, I think if you spend a lot of time on like keep keep the open mind, and if there's little things that you can pick up along the way, like try to find that tech, and you know whether your teammate did it, whether someone you watched did it whether the enemy team punished you with it like if you notice something like definitely try to like take notes of it but i think putting time into um kind of like all the different matchups like just being aware of like the different weapons in your game like you said it sounds kind of silly but like when you're getting into the match like what does the enemy th like the enemy team not having any long range weapons how does that change the way that you play versus oh the enemy team is all shooters how does that change the way you play versus yeah. you know matchups that you've already mentioned like having to deal with like nautilus and stuff and it's just like nautilus, do we ignore them all together are there mm -hmm. flanks and stuff that we can go for um you know and it you know th that's where you can start figuring out okay maybe this game i'm gonna play opposite of the nautilus and i'm just gonna ignore them as much as i can i mean it worked and this then, time <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. it worked this time for sure and there isn't that's like there isn't like a right answer yeah but you know maybe you go into another game and it's like you know oh let me let me take some time and like i'm gonna play a little bit slower so i can kind of just like really soak in and observe like where the enemy team positions and mm -hmm. if it's like within the first two minutes if you notice that the nautilus is really focusing on a couple of like positions on the map then 
the next time that they're trying to get set up, you can be a step ahead and already be in a position to like punish that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I've or actually that's been a thought that's in my head, but then it's also it's almost like you have to think two steps. You have to not only think about like where they're setting up but then also where is the optimal place i can be to punish that which is i remember us going over like that recon in, in, on umami and just talking about each spot and like moving yeah, from spot the, to spot and like where can you from... exactly yeah no it's yeah 100 that i think spinning up like that if you can with all the solo queue that you're grinding if you can for a rotation like be very mindful about those things like you'll definitely like it'll help you improve a ton um, mm -hmm. and i think the main thing when you're playing and thinking about things in that respect um again also approach it with like an open mind in terms of like have have an observation of oh enemy team has nautilus and kind of think about those different approaches they have nautilus so you know Dot, dot, dot. Do I want to target them? Do I want to avoid them? Do I want to hold my specials and deal with them? Do I want to shark until they're there? Do I just want to find other fights on the map where I don't have to deal with it? You know, do I play more aggressive? Do I play more passive? That's where if you can really... And it's not always easy because, like, you can't do it all in one match. And you might not play a Nautilus the next match but mm -hmm. have have some of those ideas you know and it can be more general of like back lines versus splatlings versus shooters versus you know rollers like you can kind of like chunk them a little bit so you get to see them more often mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. uh but yeah definitely just be aware of those things and if you notice patterns where things are working or where things aren't working um i think that's definitely like the next steps because um yeah, like I said, I think you you have a really well-rounded approach to the game right now, which is awesome to see. Because, like I said, I think you have some uh, a lot of a lot of progress since since the the early days. So <laughs> the early days, two videos. months ago. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy for a uh, for yeah, All just right. a single season or like within a season. Yeah, no, nah, I, I, I'm, I'm very excited. I'm glad that, I mean, you know, I definitely could not have been here without you for sure. Like easily <laughs> could not have done it. I just wouldn't have been thinking these thoughts or thinking like this, or even considering half of the things that you're saying. Like I might have, yeah. I probably would have still improved slightly, but not anywhere close to like the rate I'm improving at or the thoughts that I'm having, the complexity of the thoughts I'm having and thinking about the macro, I would not have been there for sure. Like, for sure. So, I mean, thank you for that. Um, yeah, of course. I, it's, it's one of those things that like, I don't know, all, all I can really do is like, throw ideas at you and then give dif a different perspective, but it it's on the person that's trying to improve to like, try different things out to put in the time to you know play very mindful like i think you've noticed in the last couple of sessions of like you know some sessions you've been very mindful about things and sessions seem to go well and then there's some times where it's like you go into it and like your mental like isn't there and like you know that ahead of time and it's just like yeah I mean, you know sometimes the games are okay sometimes we're slipping a little bit but again that's mm -hmm. why it's good to to find that overall topic where if we're really thinking about like weapon comps and trends and ideas to deal with certain weapons like as long as you have that other topic that you're trying to do while you're playing like that kind of will keep you on the right track so you don't get too sucked into playing solo with you yeah so it's, it's very nah. easy to stop learning and just play the game that's so very that's, true as well yeah <laughs> it's like the one i think that's where a lot of people get tripped up um which I, I don't blame people because like if you look on like social media it's like obviously if you're like excited for people to like hit new ranks and stuff it's like everyone's getting like higher and higher ranks and it's like oh crap like i'm falling behind <laughs> like, it's, it's very easy to get into like a toxic mentality within yourself and uh 
as long as you you know don't don't fall like it's okay to ha for that to happen from time to time but like you know over the course of a week or a couple of weeks or you know however long like you're grinding and stuff like i think you'll be able to get the most efficiency out of your rotations by just like keeping the right mentality i think that you have a very nice mentality when it comes to like learning and stuff like there's a there's a certain level of like curiosity and a certain level of like optimism of like oh like you know like there's like an excitedness to like want to like learn stuff and that is like the most important thing when it comes to the, the learning and everything long term so i definitely think that you're in a good position to uh to keep going um i definitely don't think like 2300 is is out of the realm of possibilities um i think it's Thank definitely you. doable but um you know, definitely don't be too too down on yourself if it doesn't end up happening. Like keep keep grinding for it, but if it doesn't happen, like you can kind of blame solo queue a little bit. Like if you can stay <laughs> a, I think if, if you can like play a couple rotations. Really say of, above two thousand. Yeah. Like if you can hover between like twenty one and above by the end of the season, like I would say that's probably a huge success and You'll have enough time to be able to like grind it out but there's still plenty of time left in the season so it's like again it's super super doable especially there is it's just yeah but uh don't don't get into your own head to where you start you know that 1900 rank starts slipping like you'll probably go down to like 1800 oh man oh which is like the bad rotation <laughs> I have dropped because I think this. Oh man, this flat zones. I have dropped, you know, 150, 200 points in one rotation, and just been like, wow. <laughs> it's just like this. This was just. I don't know how many times I've climbed back up from even like 1700, even like 1600, like high 1600 in splat zones specifically. Like in the past week, I the the next couple weeks i mean i have a whole bunch of videos laid out already um that are releasing but like i don't know two weeks from now when the videos start coming out it's gonna be depressing <laughs> it's gonna be <laughs> such a depressing run of me just losing over and over and over again. i'm surprised everything's actually at 19 now <laughs> like yeah, how much i had to that's a good thing like if, if you can get over the hump like it's such a good getting through that adversity and like having to battle back like oh man like I'm, like you already have your eyes set post 2k but also you're still gonna have that struggle even when you get everything above 2k it's still you still have to you know really fight to to keep all of that even though your your mind is set on the next rank and the next rank and the next rank um yeah so yeah again just having the healthy mentality is so important i think that's that's where a lot of people really from my perspective like really struggle in like the school team i mean it's, it's every community with every player, yeah everything everywhere but, yeah. Uh, but yeah people get very um, very clued in on the the number itself and not the work that goes into it and you know like you said how many times have you had to climb out from whatever rank and so now <laughs> oh, you yeah. have the skill to be able to like do that even if yeah, you that yeah. somehow like had all of your ranks at twelve hundred, like it wouldn't be a fun climb, but you it's possible. It, yeah, I have the quickly skyrocket back. To <laughs> so. Yeah, I definitely have that. I think there are definitely a lot of parts of my mentality I do think are really good. I think, but then obviously there are parts that are absolutely miserable. I think there are parts of me <laughs> that are absolutely horrible. But one one thing that really helped this past rotation. And I think this is why it was one of my best rotations I've ever done in terms of just like winning every series and is um, I came in and I said to, if, if the recording actually came out, if the video wasn't, if my disc didn't run out of space, one of the first things that I actually said in during this rotation is like, you know what? I'm going to come in here and I'm going to, you, usually I would say, ah, oh, well, let's just see how it goes. You know, I might win, I might lose, but I was like, you know what? I'm going to win everything. I'm just going to come in here and just think I'm going to win. I'm just going to win every series. 
and I did. <laughs> but it's, I think for me, a lot of times, a lot of parts of where my mentality fails is like once I start thinking that things are going to go wrong <laughs> is when they do. <laughs> so it's like I, I should not think that things are going to go wrong. I have to like come in there thinking, oh, yeah, I'm going to just do well. I'm going to do this. And that's something I'm working on. But it seems to actually work when I have a good mentality. No, um, 100%. 100%. Definitely, like, I don't know. I see, like, random stuff on TikTok about, like, manifesting your own, like, yeah. stuff. <laughs> a lot of that stuff's very silly, but, like, I don't think of it in terms of, like, like, good things are going to happen to you. Like, uh -huh. It's not, like, it's not, like, a predetermined thing, but it's, like, kind of like how averages work like if you put yourself in a good mentality over a long period of time mm -hmm. it's gonna allow you to like grow and improve and like notice things that if you were in a less that is so true you so it's, like, a, uh -huh. it's, it's such like a stupid thing but like <laughs> no it works you know it is really important. Actually, what's really funny is a dimeism, if I could call it that. <laughs> like what we all say when we're like, <laughs> what we just started saying is like every time we go into a game, we're like, okay, guys, manifest the quad. <laughs> manifest the quad, guys. <laughs> so we've been saying that a lot recently. <laughs> um, but yeah, definitely manifesting these things is it's been it's good it, it's at least good for your mental and it, if it keeps you in a good mental space you you play better because you're thinking better and you, you're not like beating yourself up or whatever there's a thousand things your brain could be focused on that are not helpful yeah. to actually winning the game so yeah, yeah like yeah. i said definitely give yourself some credit for the the mentality side because it it's so like overlooked and just assumed that it's gonna be proper but it's like it's what you learn when you put in the time and you're like grinding all these rotations is like keeping a positive mentality over the course of a bunch of hours of playing the game like makes the difference so yeah i'm dead yeah position. definitely mm -hmm. excited to see see how the rest of the season plays out for you thank you thank you and i appreciate you as always and um I'm sure we'll do it again sometime soon. The grind will continue, you know? So, and it never I stops. Never <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then next time I play, I'll have to remember to manifest the quad. Yeah, manifest the quad. Like <laughs> <I'm really sure>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyways, take care. Have a good night. You too. Later, okay, later. Bye.